Okay, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is uh, May 23rd of 2019. Uh, today I went and I went to Petco and I bought some fish and some plants. Spent a little bit over $100. <laughs> and, uh, I'm going to show you the tank in a little bit. Uh, not the, the money I spent today was just strictly for uh, five Coriodorus catfish, two Procostomus, and four snails, and four plants. And they, uh, I wanted to get, there was other things that I wanted to get there, like a submergible heater. They were too, wait. Uh, way too expensive on all their heaters. Uh, the fish didn't look all that great. Their saltwater fish looked great. Uh, fish didn't look all that great. They had some problems in some of their tanks. Um, now they did have a lot of plants. They, they had a, I think all their stores are set up the same. You know, they had a massive, like a tank or whatever just plants thrown in there, but there was a lot of plants in there and you could pick and choose. I didn't take any of the plants out of there. I got ones that were in little tube things. Um, but I have some more plants coming through the mail and I want to have, a, I'm going to have a lot of plants and I'm not sure how many more plants I'm, or how many more fish I'm going to add. And I do know, I mean, the, when you look at the tank, you're not going to be impressed. Uh, I mean, you, you could be impressed. Well, it needs a lot more plants. But I I understand, yes, if I put uh, zebra danos in there, a cardinal, uh, cardinals, uh, uh, you know, a lot of other fish, you would, you'd be going, wow, you know, especially with a lot of plants and you have all those. But I am not... Uh, I wouldn't mind just raising up these uh, Lacostomus and wouldn't mind having these catfish spawn and uh, there's some Petco, Pet, Petcos or whatever that I've not seen before and I haven't looked you know since the early late 60s when my wife and I had a tropical fish shop I haven't had a tank since since then and have it kept up but these uh, these fish uh, plecos algae eaters and they will breed and you know you could breed them you can breed them pretty easily in a 20 gallon tank so I might just get some of those and if I find some the, the one they did have some they were extreme there you are they were like this big if I can go to a tropical fish shop or something there and find some, you know, I uh, I might breed those just for the heck of it. But anyway, I'm going to show you the. Anyway, this is being recorded. This part is being recorded with my Logitech C920 camera, I believe, the USB camera. I have got the window shade over in my over in that corner open and there is sunlight coming in and hitting me so I'm not sure how good the uh, quality is oh and the, the next video you're going to see well what you're going to see after this is going to be uh, made with my C920 of the tank and I think the video is from what I haven't looked at I just looked at it through the viewfinder I think it's crappy <laughs> I, here I have this excellent camera that I love, that I've used almost zero, and I do need to learn how to use it. And I sh also I could use a different lens on it. The lens is interchangeable. I need a little different lens on it. This is ideal though for uh, making videos, uh, blogging videos, because of the. Uh, millimeter of the uh, lens which is 
42, 14 to 42, but I could use a 50 to 150 or something like that. But anyway, the, the video is crappy. But then you're going to see after that a video made with this, which will be a little bit, a little bit better. But right now you're not going to be impressed with the fish tank. But one day, I very soon, I think you will be uh, pretty impressed. But uh, what did we want to talk? Let's see. What did I want to? Uh, didn't just want to show you the tank. Did I? Uh, what am I looking for? Uh, I'm looking for a channel. By the way, I just a few days ago got a uh, payment from from Google, but it's for uh, you know YouTube for about three months, one hundred dollars and ninety two cents. Uh, the I've been working for a long time trying to get the you know monthly amount up. And for the last month or two, it's been actually going down. And the fault, I'm sure, is, um, you know, is me. Because any political stuff, I turn off the ability to make money with it. And I've been raving about politics a little bit. And... Uh, Probably the next video that I make, which I may make today, is going to be another one that I won't be monetizing because I want to talk about a little bit about politics, unfortunately. I know you don't want to hear about it, and if you don't, don't watch the video. I really don't even want to think about it, but it's on my mind, and I've been blogging since 1982, and every day when I have blogged for uh, since 1982, it's been whatever... You know, so if you read my blogs or watched since 2005 here, but before that, reading my blogs, you would know uh, I'd be talking about work and how I had filed a grievance and you'd read the grievance and then I would win it and I would tell you and then I'd be talking about my... Uh, you know, wife wanting a divorce and then us getting a divorce and then I'd be talking about my kids and just, you know, over there changes, whatever happened. And right now, like everybody else, I guess, in the United States, it's politics. I guess, uh, you know, in England and the UK, it was it the UK, I, I'm, I'm like Trump, I can't, because I know Ireland is, by the way, a you know, leaving the uh, European Union or whatever. I guess that's the big thing over there. Uh, I think Ireland is not leaving the... I don't know. can't remember. But anyway, I do want to talk about... And I'll make it very brief. That'll be probably the next video that I make. Not going to be in this video. So, coming up... A look at the fish tank with the G17 when I think that video sucks don't worry it's short and then a short video after that looking at the tank with the uh, camera you're watching right now so uh, don't touch the mouse okay uh, here's a look at this uh, 20 gallon high tank <coughs> that I uh, got from Walmart and today I went to Petco and I got uh, one two three four plants I got four snails and let's see let's see did I say two placostomus I've got two placostomus uh, there are the snails I got Two of one kind of snail and two of another kind of snail. Uh, I spent about a hundred. Well, I spent hundred and two dollars. Really more than I wanted to spend, 
but I did I did want to get some more fish but uh, their fish really you know did not look you know that that good um, this uh, filter runs pretty strong here on this tank I turned it off last, so far today I've fed the fish twice, and uh, I love Pocostomus, I love Corydoras catfish. I'm not intending to put a lot of fish, you know, in this tank, but I do intend to put a lot of plants in the tank, and <clears throat> I've got an order of plants that's coming, I hope it will be here you know, Friday. I'm not sure how well this is focusing. This is my uh, G7 camera and I really, <laughs> it's a great camera but I just haven't used it all, all that much. Let's see. There we go, I think that's coming into focus, but I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, like I said, was not real crazy about their fish. And also, I wanted to get a few items that they, they really were expensive, which is kind of strange. I looked online at their site, I'm talking about Petco, by the way. And, but then when I got to the store, so far as, uh, so, going to have to order, I'm going to order from uh, Aquarium Co-op online, and then I may order also from uh, Amazon. I do want to get a submergible heater. Not really sure I need it, you know, we keep this place, in the summertime we keep it air conditioned, and in the wintertime we keep the nice and warm so okay well uh, that was video from the G7 camera which I the Panasonic G7 camera which I obviously uh, <laughs> need to uh, look at the instruction manual on and uh, do some practicing with that was embarrassing wasn't it this is from my USB Logitech C920 I believe it is and uh, much better video I believe uh, looks like, however, with, of course, I, I guess it's, it's adjustable. I could go in and uh, the gravel is not that color at all. It looks like there's snow on there, on the gravel. The uh, gravel is definitely not that color. There's uh, three plants in there. Hang on a second. Let me uh, get the list of, I think, let me get the price list. Hang on. Okay. Uh, the plant in the center, right in the back. Oops. Short cable. 
Right, I got hooked. Uh, so I have the Petco list. Let's see. Catfish, Coriodorus, uh, three ninety nine each. Uh, Blacostomus, uh, five ninety nine each. Snails Gold Inca Snails, two ninety nine each. Snail Neurite Zebra, two ninety nine each. Okay, a uh, large aquatic plant. That would be the one in the center back, a sword plant, Amazon sword plant, twelve ninety nine. Right in front of it is a uh, small aquatic plant, and it was eleven ninety nine. Anyway, I purchased a large net for four ninety nine, a small net for a dollar ninety nine. Over in the left, that pile is moss. Shrimp moss, I think they call it, and it was nine ninety nine. Then I got a uh, bucket, five gallon bucket, pet coal bucket, nice bucket, really. Can you see it in that? Yeah, you can see the blue one right there to the right. And all together, ninety four dollars eighty two cents, tax seven dollars eighty two cents, total one hundred and two sixty four. Now that's just for the fish, the plants, and. Uh, bucket and the nets so let's stop this